from fifth grade? Good. So you've been a you've been a professor here since 1974. Yes, sir. How old were you when you started? You seem you still seem pretty young. Um, let's see, I was 25 when I came to Princeton. I'm still going to be living in my parents' house. <laughs> that's that's cool. How um how has have you felt the campus changed since then? Um, you know, I've always liked the uh, the students here. And uh, I find that they're ambitious and uh, smart and eager to please, and uh, you know, they've pretty much been that way the whole time. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good place to work. That's awesome. Now, um, you you served in the Bush Yes, sir. How, how was that? <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't even know where to begin. How long <laughs> I, I, I worked in the administration from 2003 to 2005, and it was it was an amazing experience, really fun. So, there were some fun. Uh, there, well, yeah, there, you know, there, it was it was stressful in some ways, but it was uh, uh, you know, fun uh, in, in, in others. I remember once I, uh, I I was briefing the president in the Oval Office. You you know if you've seen pictures uh, on TV of the of when diplomats visit. Uh, there, uh, there's two chairs set up in front of a fireplace, and the president's in one seat, and the, uh, the diplomats in the other, the president of whatever. And then there's uh, two sofas parallel. Well, for this briefing, the president was in one seat, Vice President Cheney was in the other, and then I was on one of these sofas. And uh, the, you know, on the sofa opposite me, there was uh, the chief of staff, Andy Carr, the director of the management, office of management budget, budget excuse me, uh, uh, Josh Fulton. Carl Rove, and then the, the chief consul, all these people were there. So I was, uh, and I was going to be the brief, I was pretty nervous. And when I get nervous, now, I, uh, I snap. <laughs> so the president sits down, he says, Harvey, why are you rocking? <laughs> I'm nervous. And uh, they said, you know, there's, there's uh, I think it's the pitching coach for the Cleveland baseball team, you know, Rock Stanford, what's his name? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he gets on the phone and uh, picks it up and says, you know, what's the name of the, you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> serious business. <laughs> so I'm trying to calm myself down. Now, uh, one, like, like I mentioned, one of the people on the other uh, on the couch opposite me was Josh Bolton, director of office management and budget, who's a uh, who's a Jewish guy. And uh, when the president asked, why are you rocking back and forth, uh, Bolton said. Uh, Mr. President, that's how that's how observant Jews pray. We <laughs> <laughs> just make fun of it. That's <laughs> called davening. And the president said davening, and he said, "Yeah, close enough." And in the Orthodox synagogue, you've seen with the, with the men sort of go like this, and they have prayer shawls. <laughs> so I uh, like, okay, we. we help give the president a you know, Jewish education. <laughs> <laughs> now, when I'm you know, lecturing, uh, normally you know, I'm focusing on you know, 400 people and trying to survey them and see what's going on. But in this case, there's one person audience, all right? So I was, I was very intently looking at him, making eye contact, trying to make sure he was engaged, and uh, you know, drawing on. I want. And then I kind of noticed that, you know, that there was some kind of activity going on across the, the way. And so I took a glance over there, and there were Rove, Bolton, and Carr that sort of pulled their suit jackets on. <laughs> Okay, let's party in. All right, so bye. And then inbox party. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
what should I have said? Because I had no idea why they selected my resume. I was very confused. Do you have any practical advice? For well, you know, I, I, I asked, uh, you know, as you point out, that's not my world. Right. But I, uh, I, I know a lot of people you know, who, 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 who work in the, in the finance and consulting world. What they say is they're looking for energetic, smart, Team players, and they're not particularly worried about people's technical backgrounds. So it looks to me like if you were yourself, you probably did a good job. I pretended to be Carl Rove. <laughs> <laughs>